nothing felt fake. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, okay, some some special effects will come later, but everything was there to play mm-hmm. with. So every everything was truthful. Everything was really kind of like offering for you to give the best of you because you're not faking anything, but everything is there. I love that we have a, a reboot of Hellraiser because there's been so many films in the franchise now that it's nice to have a new place for fans or, you know, new fans to step into. Uh, hi, I'm starting with you. What has been your experience with the Hellraiser franchise, if at all? <laughs> None, really. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to say it. No, I, I just like I, I couldn't cope. Um, it's It was too tough for me. I tried, like, there's no way. I just, like, um, it gets me, and I'm very weak. I'm very weak in front of them. I am, too, so I completely relate to you. <laughs> um, Goran, your character is very mysterious, but has a very important piece of the mythology within him, let's say. What can you say about him and his role in the film? Well, the most important thing about him, I'm not allowed to talk about because it's happening in the end of the movie and it's a kind of big kind of thing, big reveal. And that little part of the script was my favorite part when I read it and I was like, okay, I have to do this. But uh, he's the guy who... Uh, starts the action with the box. He is the one who thinks he's going to be able to get the something good out of this connection with these Cenobites. And he doesn't know, of course, that that's impossible. Mm-hmm. So he gets a really, really bad end of the deal. But then he's trying to do it again. And he thinks this time he's going to succeed. And uh, then the, the the whole story starts uh, happening, you know. But what I what I loved about it was, you know, w- w- when you do a remake or when you do a new movie after the movie wasn't uh, the the new one didn't come out in a long time. Is normally you see lately people's going to do like, okay, let's do this one, and we're going to CGI the hell out of it. So this is not the case. This oh. is not the case. so this is the proper. Uh, reinstallment kind of like proper sequel in a way Mm -hmm. and we did it very kind of old-fashioned way which doesn't mean you know anything negative quite contrary everything is done practical cgi is used sporadically where it's needed but whatever we were able to do actually with our hands on the set and proper Mm -hmm. costumes and makeup and aesthetics we did it and i think you can actually feel it and it makes the level of scariness of the Mm -hmm. horror much, much higher. I think it's much scarier because of that. Yeah. You get to be scared on set, which I'm sure was great for you, Haim. Um, <laughs> yeah. Have you seen what was the Cenobite design that most terrified you or that you found most fascinating? I mean, all of them. You know, I worked with three of them, like that scene without spoiling it. Mm-hmm. The three of them just were there. But like even the first, like the first one coming in, you know, just like for me, that breathing machine you know that just like you see like the whole inner body kind of like on that on that on that you know like costume she's wearing just made me like wow okay this is really incredible but as Goran said like one one of the most important things like for me that happened on set it's just like nothing felt fake Mm -hmm. like you know okay some some special effects will come later but everything was there to play with so every everything was truthful everything was really kind of like offering for you to give the best of you because you're not faking anything but everything is there so it felt um and i, I love to say this it just for me the end of for example of serena was was uh, was was spiritual was really mm. like was a goodbye somehow to life you know in a in a very spiritual way which i really loved i i uh, Though, like, all these characters around me, they're not real, you know, but they were still, like, the fact that they were human beings inside them and there was, like, interaction with real people, you know, mm-hmm. uh, felt felt, felt yeah. very great. Oh, felt well, very, yeah, very much fun, too. Yeah, yeah to I can't <laughs> I can't wait for everyone to, to watch and, you know, feel as frightened as I did while I witnessed both of you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Have a great day. Thank you. You, you too. too.